commentators here. Just here. Oh. Are they commentating? Uh, yes. Okay, well, yeah, be sure to check out Crystal Crisis. Uh, Level up live. Plus, uh, plus just a month. But now we're jumping into Winner's Finals, T versus Elegant. The last time I actually saw this two play was SoCal Chronicles, where Key was actually able to take it over there again, but now things have changed for Key. I mean, I mean that was like, what, four months ago, five months ago? Yeah, that was like the start of the meta almost. Key and Elegant are in two very different spots. But I was going to say one thing about Key is he's been taking school very seriously, and he's not out of the semester yet. So he hasn't been able to put in time and dedicate himself. And that's why I always tell people, like, yeah, some players, like, during the Smash season, they do take a lot of L's, but when the Summer Smash around comes, they do have, like, a huge, like, step up for because they have more time to put into the game. Yeah, it must be nice. Or, yeah, it must be nice. Okay, okay there's the <laughs> Oh, and I like the chase going real deep, and it's going to force Elegant using the green missile, but still not able to make it back to stage. Down throw, nice. There's a cyclone. It's able to not kill. I mean, that's one thing that Snake has is a heavyweight. Heavyweight and good DI. Yeah. Typically, you know, we'll see a kill when uh, the move is DI incorrectly. Be catching the roll. That's why we kind of saw Key play that against West earlier. He was able to understand when West going for rolls. Cyclone Key still survives. Like, man, you have to have a good heavyweight character, but what does a heavyweight do if you don't have great DI? And that grenade stops Elegant going for the Cyclones. He knows the game plan to make sure the Elegant doesn't get what he's looking for. That's what you do if, you do, if you're not sure which way to DI, you explode. You keep exploding. The Falling Tornado is going to take the stock for Elegant. Now you can see, he's a, Elegant's the type of player who likes for his opponents to approach. And he's been like staying inside the, the center stage. Wow, that killed Snake? <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> I don't know what's more I'm saying is the fact that Elegant just has to go for a grab and a whip, a whip, or like a whip punish and then go for a grab and kill. Or the fact that that just killed Snake really early. Charlie was right, man. This character, Luigi, Luigi is horrible. I'm sorry. No, I, no, no, no. Charlie no. was right. He's Charlie, right. Charlie, if you're watching the stream, you are 110% right. Luigi is literally some words I cannot say on stream. Let's let's, let's get back. But you know where them. you can say them. No, you can't say them on your show either. No, I can't. I, can't, I was gonna say I can't even. <laughs> Keep it esports out here, man. But it's all alright. You guys already know the deal of how Elegant likes to work. That's one thing for Key to understand, though. He did have the right gameplay earlier, right? Stop him from going to Cyclone. Understand his favorite moves and punish him. That's one thing that we, ha that we had seen, that we have seen one back at uh, SoCal Chronicles. Mm -hmm. where he kind of understood Elegant's gameplay with the character. But now, like I said, Elegant's in a different space. He's kind of understood the region a little bit more and what to be going for. I mean, just the game overall, like everyone just started to, to understand just the mechanics of Smash Ultimate. And now Dash Attack going to put Key off stage. Wow, using the Nair to just poke the shield. Fading out the shield drop. Nice, Key literally. I would like the spacing here because he tried to wait out Elegant because he knows he's going for this grab block. The misfire on the up smash key. Ah, uh, he had to take that one. He had the edge guard set up, but he just did not account for the misfire. And the one time Elegant doesn't even aim to go low. How do you account for misfire though? Like, that well, that's, such... that's, so that's the one thing that Key did the last, the last game, right? Where he accounted the fact that like, he knew Elegant was going to go for missile yeah. and go low. The problem is Elegant didn't go low. So he didn't account for him not going low. He only oh, accounted for going saying. low. That's why he took the time to go for an up smash. I see, I see what you're saying. But that does cover a good amount of space, and uh, yeah, that's going to take stock. Oh, okay. Using the Nair to interrupt the grenade. And up air from Key. Second up air from Key. Falling back here, and as you can see, he's been uh, pushing Elegant a little bit more, and that's going to cost him. As you can see, Elegant getting a down throw into up B. Now, Elegant and Konkon were telling me that at a certain percent that setup is true, which uh, is just another way for Elegant to take a stock. These Luigi's, man, they're going crazy again. I'm serious, man. They're going crazy. You, you have, okay, he goes across the stage just for the dash attack. Okay, Perry and Key not able to get the second of board tilt. Enemy chaser, does it find its mark? Another misfire, but Nikita 
is going to be the insurance that's going to help Key take that stock. Double forward tilt. Key looking for a possible setup. I feel that even though Key goes for out smashes, which is a really good setup here, I, I kind of want him to start going for C4 and more grenade pl plays to cover the getup and the roll all together. I feel like that's one thing I haven't been seeing from Key is just those, those grenade setups. And the enemy chaser able to take it there. Key 1-1 one -one against Elegant, man. Looking like finally he's fighting back against Elegant back to how it was in SoCal Chronicles. Just... Could be a reason you, you force Elegant to approach. That's his, that's the game. Yeah. You don't approach Elegant. You force him to approach. And we do we do see what like Elegant loves. If you approach and he whips your grab or your attacks, anything like that, you immediately could just get zero to death. Yep. So you. I have mean, not even zero to death. Just like any, he's got a lot of kill setups that just come out from grabbing. You know, we got down throw into tornado chase. Got down throw into B. I think he's. I think a down throw nair or. Tipper up air, back air still works. Oh! Okay, another down throw, and there it is. Oh, down so throw into a B. I feel like it was, but it just didn't kill Oh, it was a sweet spot. It just, yeah. just, just didn't take the stock. That's what questions me. Like, why is it sweet spot but not killing? Uh, might have to do with the stage. And Snake being a heavy. But it killed on the ground. And then, like less than 100%. That's why I'm just like, what? Oh, All right, able to use. Yes, I'm saying, like, this was, I'm. Oh man, smash, smash ultimate, please. Help me. <laughs> Help me understand. You understand what's going on. All right, holds the shield. This time he had the same tactic as the first game. Let him cyclone, but this time he's going to have to hit the grenade. Elegant doesn't matter about it. He takes the first stock in his game. Grenades and C4 is putting out a lot of pressure, but now we see a down throw and the grenade's going to interrupt. No zero to death for Elegant. <laughs> I do like how he's just tossing in all the grenades, all the opportunities, and you know, Elegant's just having to field deal with the fireballs because he knows he might be looking for a push against me. And he kind of respects the fact, like, right, don't approach. I can play the safe, drop to landing here, Elegant with another tornado. Okay, dropping both from the platform, trying to bait out with the, the C4. It doesn't find it, but a dash attack does connect. Now Key going to have an opportunity to set up his traps. Nice C4 on the platform. I he set on the platform there. Immediately Elegant hits. Oh, and Elegant chased really high with that tornado. Dash attack. Solid cross up. He able to get some space and looking back to setting up again. C4 on the platform. And it's good for Key to even try to, re I was going to say, try to recover from it because Elegant makes the approach. Yes, C4 to cover it up. Roll back. That's nice. Gonna whiff. And now Key set to time to set up these grenades again. Using the grenade to explode on the hitbox of the plunger. No tech? Uh, I was gonna say you have to watch yourself when you don't tech. You can get tech chase and just and you'll lose your spot like that. Mm -hmm. Or even just take serious damage. Alright, dash attack. Oh, here we go. This is gonna be a zero to death for Elegant, not inputting the next nair. Oh, gets the up B, but not the sweet spot at the ledge. Oh, no way! That was such a sick conversion! So, Elegant did down throw into Tipper, up air, Nair, and then Tornado Chase. This character is something, man. But it only happened because he was able to reset on the platform. Yeah. And the way that Kia was kind of like using the platform to like anticipate Elegant's recovery, just playing up for it. It's tough. It is very tough. Right, now it's time for uh, game. It's game four. Yeah. Three, two one elegant. Two, one, go. All right, let's go into it. He able to go ahead and get the landing four tilt. Get this belief character off me. Sets up time with C four and grenade. The reason why I do like the fact that he's going for it too. He's now trying to play shot master. I feel that he hasn't had all night long. He hasn't struggling to play that role. I mean, it's hard. It's yeah. difficult to just keep that mentality of I don't want or, or not approaching, trying to set up traps. And if you're, I mean, especially as someone who like played uh, Ryu in the last game, it, it's it's a different mindset. Yeah, it doesn't come natural. Nice, the most players. down smash yet again. Good spacing here. And you even have the grenade behind just in case Elegant tries to go for a cross up or a roll. Oh, don't be in this fight. Okay. 
I was gonna say, it's not gonna be a misfire, but he able to snipe it out. Look on the return to sender, and he's able to stop Elegant from going for a grab. Elegant even tried to use the Zare to uh, just take control away from Key, as far as the Nikita goes, but it was just too late. Yeah. He has to be careful on the landing here, because he get caught just like that, able to get away from the up smash. It wouldn't have done much, but feel more percent. And Good the down air at, the, at, that, at that platform, because any other option, you know Elegant was looking for the FB punish. Use a directional air dodge, cycle, not gonna kill, snake very heavy, but it doesn't matter. Elegant has stage control here, and he merely goes for the chops just to make sure he doesn't survive. And he reads the landing from the cypher. What? A tornado kill? He had a, he got caught, he got caught in the middle, I feel like. From what I saw, he was caught in the middle. And not only that, there was no other way he could go to go for directional air dodge after the cypher, so for Elegant just catch him in the cyclone. I feel like he could have directional air dodge to stop his momentum though. Regardless, another up B, and that's going to be a 3-1, or 2-1 two two one. in stocks. <laughs> oh, hey, man, it's not over yet. Whoop. Give Key some credit. Give Key some credit. Almost put the Rashido a little too early. Okay, good explosion. Taking that trade and now punishing with an up air and a back air. Oh, getting oh, the drag down there. I, I do like that option, but immediately Key was unable to get it. He's off the stage. Elegant loves when you go a little bit too low Looking for those punishes. Is that the up and he missed it. Key able to directional air dodge in the nick of time. No misfire. Oh man, this is tough for Key. This He's is taking a lot of damage in the yeah, process. and the down smash. Just the down smash indeed. Okay. So that'll put Elegant in grand finals where he awaits his next challenger. Wow. <sighs> tough call for Key. I mean, but like I said, things have changed for both players. Okay. Well, looks like we are a little bit behind in the bracket. Okay. So uh, we are going to take a small break. Don't go anywhere. Is in fact, this is the perfect time to breed up, boot up that uh, multi twitch. No, we don't even need multi twitch now. You, now you got the partner streams. Oh, the uh, squad stream. Yeah, the squad stream. So you know, bring up that level up live, and uh, check out some Crystal Crisis featuring Justin Wong and friends. So yeah, go do that instead. Don't go anywhere though. We'll be, back. We'll be right back with more yeah, we'll WNF guys.